L.A. Morgus is here. How you doing, Audrey? Why do we, Audrey, do we have to be hungry every day? In sales? I say yeah. What does that mean to you, hunger in sales? What does that mean? It, I think it's a little different for everybody. I would say, well, I can only speak for myself, and I would say I have to be insanely motivated and to go out and get it because it's not just going to come to me. Some might come to me. It's a, it's a daily effort. It's a daily effort of pursuing deals, potential deals. How do we create, how do you create that hunger, that motivation, that focus in yourself every day? How do you do that? Well, there's, there's only two ways in my mind. I'm either motivated or I'm desperate. <laughs> I like the honor. Uh, who's, who's been desperate here? Who got, a, who got the cable bill and, and woke up at two in the morning and said, oh shit, how am I going to pay for that? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to me, those are the two factors that, you know, drive people. You're either insanely motivated or you see it in front of you and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Or you're like, Wow, I need to do something right now. How do we create that hunger inside, that, that, that motivation, though? We, we want money. That's a motivation, right? How about the challenge of persuading another person, getting them to see our point of view, getting them to take an action? George was talking before about sending out texts and calls and things like that. What are the things there's that we need to there's do? There's a dry high off of converting somebody to your way of thinking. Once you get it, it's, it is... The money's there, but there's a feeling of, of unbelievable satisfaction. Tell me about that feeling. I call it, the, I call it the, the second best feeling in the world. What do you call it, Kenny? Well, I just call it a drug high. It's just, you know, one of the neatest things is whenever somebody would walk out of the office and go, gosh, we weren't even going to buy that today. That, that meant I really had a, did a wow thing, you know, so. Yeah. How, it's just something about when you make a sale. It's it. I'll I'll go with that drug. That and let's call it an endorphin high. How many people yeah, here have had you know. that? And uh, they call it runner's high. It's uh, when a certain amount of endorphins, the body's natural secretions, that make you. Um, uh, who's a doctor in the room? Tell me what endorphins are. I'm not a doctor. What are endorphins? Somebody Google it or tell me what. what are transmitters that make you feel like a sense of euphoria. It, it's a natural body chemical reaction, isn't it? Yep. We get it sometimes in exercise. Sometimes we just get it. In, did you ever laugh? Anybody here ever go to a comedy club and laugh for 60, 90 minutes straight through? Did you ever really go? I mean, good comedians, you know, and you just laughed. And let's do it. Did you ever have your ribs hurt? You were laughing so much. Have you ever <coughs> a really good Chris Rock or somebody like that. And what is that feeling like when they finally get off the stage and walk out? Whoa, that was fun, right? I mean, is that an endorphin feel? That, we get that in sales, don't we? Is that part of the hunger that we have to develop, or getting, that, getting that feeling? I love that yeah. feeling. I think it's addictive, Kenny. Yeah. That is so true. It's really true. And who's responsible for us creating that hunger within us and, and, and making it rep, and repeating it all the time? Who's responsible? Go ahead, Marvin. Okay, Kenny. The person that shaves you in the morning is responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you become successful when you take full, unequivocal response. There's a $10 word. Um, unequivocal. Un unequivocal <laughs> respons <laughs> responsibility for your success, for your financial well being. You can blame the weather, you can blame politicians. You know, you can blame lawyers. God knows that's easy. Um, but the thing about it is, you gotta, you gotta go to yourself. Did I pick up that phone? Did I speak to five people today? Did I interact with total strangers today? Do I have a product that I believe in, that I'm passionate, that ethically, honestly helps people? Can I, do I have knowledge that can help people and solve their problems? And should I, and should I, should I interact with people and let them know? By, and should we discover their problems by asking questions and then saying, if you found a solution, if Sam, Sam Wynn, if you found a solution to your problem so we, could get, so we could get you a loan for your business, how much would you, uh, how would that make you feel today, Sam, if you got an extra $100,000 
if I did a loan to you for hundred thousand dollars today to expand your business, how would you? How would that make you feel, Sam? That isn't something you'd want today, is it? No sound. No sound, Sam. Uh, there you go. You're good. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah. How would that make you feel? Sam does loans, by the way. Sam does loans to small businesses. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, it'll help out a lot because, you know, I'm going through a tough times. Uh, if I, if I sent you an application, a very simple application through DocuSign and asked you to get it back to me before 1.30 this afternoon so I could help you facilitate that loan to expand your business and make more money in the next 60, 90 days, that isn't something you could do for me today, is it? Yeah, sure. I, I could do that. I'm sorry, what? I can do it. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounded, that sounded like a commitment. How long did that take? Pretty quick. 60 seconds. Did you hear a presentation? Not really. Did I tell them all about my company and all how wonderful we are and we have offices all over and all that gobbledygook? All I had to do was identify his need by asking questions. He said yes to me. How good does that feel to me that I have a high probable prospect, a potential person who can maybe I'll make money on a Monday morning? Is that the stepping stones that we're all trying to develop here? Yep. Absolutely. Very good. Let's, um, what else did we want to talk about? We, so we got on hunger on sales. I, I think uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about just